Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed, Alleluia. Together we will raise our voices in that defiant, hope-filled, joy-filled acclamation signifying God's victory over death. I'm looking forward to joining my voice with those of my brothers and sisters in Christ, my fellow disciples particularly as a time when there's so much happening in our world today that can cause one to feel like they're losing hope. The looming threat of Christian nationalism and the division and the polarization that accompanies it. Environmental degradation and the crying out of our world for healing. The increased loneliness and depression and anxiety that exists for so many. It is easy to believe that the world is nothing but Good Friday, nothing but death and despair. But those defiant words remind us of the victory and the season of Easter that is ours to hold fast to, ours to live into, and ours to share. We are reminded that God's love wins. What better message can we share with the world than that, with each other than that? And so it is my hope and prayer this Easter time and beyond this Easter time that we will embody that Easter spirit, that we will make that Easter acclamation at the forefront of our lives, upon our lips and within our hearts, and that we'll share the good news with those who find themselves at that tomb, those in Gaza, those in Ukraine, those in Sudan, those in Haiti, those on our streets who need to know that they're loved and there is hope, there's a new, a new way, a new life for them in and with God's love in Christ. So let us indeed shout out, cry out, and whisper if need be, Alleluia, Christ is risen. And in doing so, proclaim to this world so broken that God is here, that God has not given up on us, and that God's love will overcome. So enjoy Easter. Be Easter. Let it abide in you, now and always. Amen.